Okay, I'm back. So I'm at F14. Let me uh, put this all the way down. So this is at 3.5, the lowest again, but it's blown out, right? So I can do. See if I can do the uh, exposure. Trying to raise that. So that's 16, okay? And first of all, let me uh, go to 8. We start off at 8, okay? So you can see the dash. So now I'm going to go to 24. And this is the kit lens, by the way. So let me go to 9, 10, 11, 14, 16. That looks a little bit better. Okay, so that's 24 millimeter. Let's see how this goes. It's recording. This is that F16. So what I'm looking at is autofocusing. And a nice thing about the Nikon cameras, you can hit that shutter speed. I mean the uh, shutter button, and uh, it'll focus when you press halfway down. Let's see how this does. So there. They extended the uh, building. So it's much bigger. And you're digging the front part now. I have to try to figure out how uh, to pay the bill. Uh, that's my uh, water and garbage bill. I pay about $35 a month, $36. That's about average. people they like stopping off at these automobile places and then uh, look at vehicles I got the air conditioning set on two so it's not defrosting there's no humidity in the air which is a good thing I don't have to worry about the ZFC overheating. And the picture quality looks good. So I believe this is at 24. I'm going to find out shortly. Okay. So, see any uh, breathing, jello effect? I don't. I'm gonna change it to 35 millimeter. 
That's a little bit better, right? So this is 35 millimeter kit lens. How does it look? At F16. Now I got it at 1 60th shutter speed, okay? And I put it in manual. That's the only way I can do it. I got the defroster on, so that way it goes on top of the dash. Hopefully it'll get the camera staying cool. Um, it's looking pretty good so far. anybody at the racetrack. I see cars there, but you know, I don't know if they're doing any horse races and stuff. They took out six of the uh, horse stalls. And they put up a new fence. So that looks good. So this is at 35 millimeters. 1200 F8 I'm going to turn this one off and then I'm going to go to the automatic see you in a little bit okay folks I'm back so I put it on uh, automatic it's at 1 200 F8 ISO at 125 so let's see how this goes. Now with the USB-C, it's keeping the camera charged, fully charged. You can't do that on the R7. Okay. 
going in the neighborhood. I've been everywhere else. This is at 50 millimeter, the kit lens. At F8. How does it look? Looks pretty good, doesn't it? So I'm letting the camera do its own thing. So I'm looking at what? Rolling shutter, jello effect, overheating, stabilization, you name it. And I think this camera is outstanding, especially on the sound quality. I bet you can't really hear the air conditioner. Oh, it's getting cloudy. It's uh, 97 degrees outside. So how does it look to you? With a kit lens, folks, you can get a lot of things accomplished. That's why I always recommend this camera. What I like is all the dials on the top, but then you can put it on automatic and just forget it can perform well too and probably better than what you can do this is at 4k 30 by the way and straighten that out a little bit okay I think it fell off did it yep sure did Trying to straighten things up, and this happens. Okay. Well, we'll do it like that. Good enough. Yeah, each camera is different. I don't see it. Yeah, I see a car, but the window is straight. I don't think I'm going to make it. I right, wish I'll see. You still got to be careful if uh, people on this street. They'll just, they'll just keep going. So, go around my neighborhood a little bit. And you don't see, you'll see cars parked on both sides, but I think there's a little bit more headroom here than the neighborhood across Lookout Road. chair out. Looks like a quiet day. It looks like everybody's watching the football game. And what am I doing? I'm vlogging. Well, someone's got to do it. Anyway. Keep slipping. Let's make it straight. Focus. It's looking good. Hope you did enjoy this afternoon with me. I'll have a little surprise after these four videos. See, if I stop it, you see any jello effect? Let me turn, let me bring it back down. A 
course I can't tell there might be a little shaking okay the final test is going inside you know the garage but this performed well this has gone 23 minutes Right now, I can see it in the dark. How's it performing? Ah, fell off again. Sorry about that. I don't think it's shaking. Anyway, if you like this video, and uh, see if I turn on the lights, it's f6.3, 150 at the shutter speed, 5000 ISO. Now 4,500, 6.3, but it's focusing, all right? So if I hit the shutter button, stop focusing. Let me turn off the light. Go here. Yep, see that focus breathing? Okay, let's do this number. There we go. Yeah, kind of a little bit more. Yeah, it's in focus. Pretty good. All right. Let's put it on here. Let's push it back a little bit. So there's 18. This is all the way to 50. Okay, what do you think? Kitlin, folks. So, if you like this video, please give me a like, subscribe. Let's take a look. So, here's some computers in the garage. So, I got some good sound systems, speakers. 4K TV, two monitors. So anyway, if you like this video, give me a like, subscribe, hit that notification bell. Uh, and as always, stay safe, keep smiling, and until next time, goodbye.